Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. The following is a story about fire as told by a Native American chief to his grandchildren. I hope you like it and the lesson that it holds. Grandfather, Grandfather, tell us a story. Gather round, my children, and listen well to a story about fire and how it came into the world. Many generations ago, when the land was still young, the people were cold and wet and hungry and afraid. Then one day, a great thunderbird flew over the land and sent a flash of lightning, hitting the old oak tree and hot embers were formed in its wood. After the Thunderbird flew away, a young brave saw an ember, and as he looked, it spoke to him in a whisper, saying, Feed me, feed me. What shall I feed you? asked the young brave. Twigs and sticks, twigs and sticks, said the ember. So the young brave laid on a small twig and watched as a small flame licked up and around the twig. Then he laid on another. The flame danced and danced and said, Feed me, feed me. So the young brave fed it more. First small sticks, then larger sticks. Soon the fire was large, and the young brave could feel its heat on his face and on his hands. As the fire grew even bigger, it spoke in a loud voice, Feed me, feed me. I want to eat everything in the forest. This scared the young brave, who ran and hid himself behind a large rock. He could still hear the fire saying, Feed me, feed me. As he hid there waiting, the fire grew smaller and smaller, until he could hear its small voice saying, Feed me, feed me. The young brave returned to the fire and watched it burn as he warmed himself until the fire was nothing but ashes and embers. The young brave put some of the cool ashes into a birch bark container, laid on an ember, and then covered the ember with more cool ashes. This would keep it alive for the journey home. The young brave told his tribe the lesson he had learned about the hungry fire and not to feed it too much. The tribe was happy. Now they could use fire to keep warm in the cold, to cook their food, smoke their meats, and keep the nighttime animals from destroying their camp. They called the young brave Firewalker because he had walked with fire. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story and the lesson in it. Until next time, this is Muskrat Jim. Sign me up.